hi guys i'm back i'm doing a little vlog i'm back from england <laughs> if you're wondering what you're looking at we are in my backyard and this is my new puppy my family and i went to england to attend my father-in-law's funeral and we were basically gone for almost half the month of february for those of you that don't know and then six days after we got home i got a chihuahua labrador <laughs> nyla come here baby show the people your face <laughs> she's like i just want to play with this leather glove that i found she's a total puppy she has been with us for two weeks um she is estimated at being about 18 weeks old so about four and a half months um her name is nyla n-y-l-a and we actually found her on a facebook page while we were in england and then they held her for us so we can come home and get her um so i have been busy i don't know if anybody out there has had a puppy before but it's basically like you are getting a kid <laughs> like potty training and feeding schedules and sleeping and crate training and everything let me see let me see your face let me see your face <laughs> she's obsessed she's like truly obsessed but it's either let her dig at the glove or let her eat sticks because she's teething and those are like the two things she loves the most i just want to make sure she's not actually eating it come here let me see come here let me do the face let me do the face look at the sleepy face at the baby hi another thing that i've been doing what i should be doing right now is um getting ready for a party my son's birthday was actually last month and we bought all the supplies let me see you there she is we bought all the supplies to have a party uh but we didn't throw it yet so let's take a look in the house and i'll show you guys all my party supplies that i'm doing right now i just wanted to show you guys a little more of her cute face before i go in the house look at the baby look at the baby nyla there she is look at her she's so precious she's so precious but yeah from what we were told she is chihuahua and labrador don't even really know how that's possible but my last da dog was a chihuahua and my mother-in-law has a lab so she's literally like uh both those dogs mixed together it's really weird isn't she cute though oh she hears a bird I know I probably shouldn't be letting her do this, but don't worry everyone. I do not let her out of my sight. She has only um, puppy teeth, so she's teething really bad and she tries really hard. She's already lost a couple of her puppy teeth since we got her. Um, Cause we have given her a lot of stimuli to chew on. <laughs> this is my outdoor couch. This is my backyard. I'm waiting for my bushes back there to grow in. I don't know what they're called. I th we call them like butterfly bushes, but they grow like um, yellow flowers, orange, pink, and purple. But right now they're like bare. <laughs> Everything in my yard is bare. Right there is our fire pit. But we're going to set up a little like a bullseye for the kids to, ser um, to shoot Nerf arrows. Um, but there she is. Okay, now I really will go inside. My house, my house is absolutely a mess, but I just wanted to show you. So my son wants to have like a secret agent party. So I bought him this cute little like supply kit. It's like a spy kit, 55 crafts and activities, create 14 spy devices. And so we're kind of like using that. So this is like a create your own secret cover so you can create your, um, your own code name using like the first initial of your first name and the last initial of your first name. And then we have all these secret agent badges. So they will fill out their badges with their uh, code names and it comes on a lanyard so they can wear it around their neck. And then I give them a little cup with uh, some pens. And then over here, 
these pages actually came from the activity box. And then you can see the gray ones right here because we made copies because so many kids are coming. Um, but you can fill out your own fingerprints. So you circle right hand or left hand and you do your five prints. And then you roll, you uh, turn it over and you do the opposite hand. And you can write your name and notes and your age. You can write down your alias that you learn over here, which is pretty cute. And then this is just some like information that I put on the wall, a little s sign that says scan to enter, get it like, like scanning your fingerprints. Some little signs that say calling all agents, look for evidence, and then every kid uh, will get a pair of glasses. Hi guys, just using my phone. And then every kid gets a pair of glasses. Then over here, I have a red tablecloth that I put down this morning. And then in the middle of the table will be uh, balloons. Those are their top secret goodie bags. And then here is some clues that I created. And this is gonna be for a scavenger hunt. So there's eight clues inside. So one clue will lead to the next. And then I, I uh, put a little hole punch in every single envelope. And they all look like that. So I can put string and, and I can hang them up. We have some colored pencils and crayons because they're, the age difference in the kids is gonna be pretty vast, like between five and 12. So I have some crayons and some colored pencils because I have activity pages for the younger kids who might not wanna do it or the older kids. Um, and here, this is all my extra stuff. And here I have, um, <laughs> this is like the biggest roll of caution tape and I'm going to put it all over like doors and entryways and stuff because you know, it's spy and it's a uh, secrets and you know, they're secret agents, blah, blah, blah. And I have some more, uh, decor stuff. Hold on here, guys. I forgot how to make videos. It's been so long, but these are cute. These are, um, what I hung up um, over there on my wall. Please forgive the sodas, it's for the party. I don't even drink soda, but we have these ones that say spy invitation, um, crime scene. This one is kind of the same as the wall. It says calling all agents, mission complete. I put one of those that say mission complete um, right here on my front door by the lock. So when people are leaving, it's kind of coming off, I have to fix it before tomorrow, but when people are leaving, it'll say mission complete. So I was like, that's really cute. So like they completed the mission by attending our party and then it says, follow the clue and this, and then they kind of just repeat. This one says top secret. This one also says follow the clue and another crime scene one, another look for evidence one. And then this is an extra, but I made a sign out of a uh, garden stick or like a hanging plant stick that says scan to enter. Um, no, not that one. This one, this one, here it is. This is an extra one, but it says welcome to spy party. So I made, I took a, from Dollar Tree, I took a hanging plant like stake that you put in the ground and I just used duct tape on the back and I duct taped it to, uh, the, the sign so I can stick it in the ground outside and it says welcome to spy party and then this is some rolls of just streamer paper in red and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take some boxes like some black uh kind of like Tupperware bins and we're going to create like a maze and then we're going to use, you've probably seen this if you ever go on Pinterest or online or whatever, or if you have kids, we're going to use this to create like laser beams and the kids can like crawl through it and like play in it and stuff like a little laser room. I don't know. Um, I have some balloons just for like decorations. This one has like red, orange, yellow, green, purple, and I think silver. And then... This one has different colors. This is just from Dollar Tree. So we have blue and green and yellow and black, more purple, but like a different kind of purple. Um, I can show you what the invitations looked like because I have some extras. They're really cute. I'll show you. 
I just got all this stuff on Amazon, you guys. This is definitely like a phoning it in situation. But here we go. This is the back of the invitation. And how cute is that? Top secret, top secret. And then this is what it looks like inside. Calling all agents. And then I just filled it out for my son. But that's what it looks like when it's blank. Isn't that so cute? Anyways, I'm making a mess. But let's go in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, um, at my counter, look, I made like little secret agent faces. So we have like glasses with mustaches and like bow ties just to kind of like decorate my like bar countertop that like leads into my kitchen. Um, so we have some um, napkins that say confidential, top secret, security. Now here's a trick. The decorative napkins, always more expensive. So go to your local dollar store, your local Walmart, whatever, and buy some napkins that go with the decor and buy more of the cheap napkins than you did the decorative one. Just buy like one pack of the decorative one and then buy like one or two packs of the ones that are not decorative. And then you just kind of like fold them into each other, like some decorative ones and then some gray ones. And that's what I did. And then you kind of just like fan them out like that. And it looks totally intentional. Then we have some like beverage napkins or like dessert napkins, red and black. The color theme is red, black, and silver. So then we have dessert plates or just small plates if someone wants like a little bit of fruit or something. And then we have, so these are black. I got these in black and red. And then I got these bigger plates in silver and red. And then these are the decorative plates that I got. Just a small amount just a small amount and it's a smaller plate than this. So it's like large, medium, small. And I took, I pulled the colors from the more expensive decorative plate and then just went to my local Dollar Tree for all the rest. Save a book. And then in here we have a black plastic cup. They make great holders for silverware. So we have a black cup and then the silverware is gray and red and then over here again we got the black cups and then the decorative ones it's supposed to look like an engine room or i don't know something with buttons and knobs i don't know what and then i'm going to do i bought a whole bunch excuse my mess but i bought a whole bunch of nacho cheese and i'm going to actually put it over here in my crock pot so it stays warm right and then in here, I have everything set up, but obviously not in the bowls yet, but there'll be Doritos, some pretzels, tortilla chips and Fritos. And so people can grab a plate, put whatever they want on. And then the crock pot, which I'm going to clean later, um, will have warm cheese in it at all times. And people can grab a plate, put some chips or pretzels on it, a little drizzle of cheese, and they can have nachos. And then on this side, we have more silverware and a big bowl with a lid. That's going to have just plain romaine and iceberg lettuce mixed together in it. I'm going to clean, wash, strain, drain, and put it in there with a lid. And then here, I'm going to put all different kinds. I even made myself a list. All different kinds of toppings, olives, green onions, salsa, tomato, all kinds of stuff that you might want for your salad or for... Uh, the chips over there. We have three kinds of dressing, some bacon bits, croutons, crispy little onions, everything that you would want. There's gonna be cheddar cheese in, in this dish and Parmesan cheese, avocado, tomatoes. I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers. I have um, fruit and a, uh, well, what should we call it? A veggie tray that's also just gonna be out. The only thing I haven't even bought yet is a birthday cake. I haven't bought a birthday cake, but um, the birthday cake will go in the cake plate over there, which also has to get washed. I have a whole bowl of granola bars because that's one of my kids' favorite foods, my son. And then this is going to be his candle, even though we already gave him a birthday cake and we already sang happy birthday and we already blew it out. Um, on his actual birthday, that was like a month ago. And now we're finally having his party and it's not his fault. So I want him to feel special. This is just like a cake topper. You literally just like buy the cake and then you stick it in and it's a top, it says top secret right there. It has a little mustache, just like the, the little guys that I made down there. It says happy birthday. He even has like a fingerprint. So I think that's going to be, uh, 
really cool for him. And then I got some Yoohoo's. I got a whole bunch of juice boxes that are in the fridge getting cold. And then I have the bubbly water, some Sprite, Cactus Cooler, Coke. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're going to have some little missions that they're going to do. Uh, like the clues that I made is going to lead them to a prize. I don't know if I said that, which is a pinata that's going to get going to be hiding in my trunk. So all the clues will lead them to the trunk of my car in the front of my house and a pinata full of good candy and treats and stuff. So, and in each goodie bag, they have to fill it up with their pinata candy, but they each get a little, um, notepad and then they get this pen but it's not just any other pen it's actually invisible ink that you can see with a a blue light so that's what they're all going to be getting hi baby what's wrong you want to go outside she's crying where are you where's nyla with the baby hi baby oh I know it's so hard to give her attention the way she needs and plan this party. I don't know what I was thinking, you guys. But anyways, thanks for watching this. Everyone, welcome my uh, dog to our new uh, living situation, her toys and everything. Um, my house is a disaster. I have to go actually clean. I have to go buy a cake. I have to pick up my kids from school. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get back on some sort of schedule making videos eventually. But I just wanted you guys to see my dog and what my life has been like lately. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye.